Hey guys, it's Sarood Leafstorm here and I'm here with PUDL Luxury Ball Division Week 3 against Ted. Uh, Ted, what is your team name? I feel like I do this every week and I always say that I do this every week, but I never, I never improve. The Meteor Shower Dragapults. Okay, brilliant. Um, okay, so we see what Ted's brought. So we do see the Krikatoon. That means I'm probably going to have to lead Torkoal. Not really what I wanted to do, I kind of wanted to lead with my carving, um, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. I'm going to lead with Torkoal. Uh, you might predict that and go for a Tusk League, which is fine. Um, I'm not too too stressed about it. I have a Mesprit in the back. Um, so, yeah. I am a bit scared of webs, to be honest with you. If he gets them up, they are a bit of a pain. So, we don't see Goldengo, which I'm not surprised we don't see. Uh, Skuntank, I expected. No Sylveon, which is wild. Once I get Sun up, I just click buttons into Ted Seam, I can't lie. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. But, you know, Ted's got some big threats. He's got the, the Great Tusk, which is a massive threat to my team. Um, he's also got the Skun Tank, which is actually a little bit annoying for my team to deal with, to be honest with you. So Stanky does lead, which is the, um, the Skun Tank. I think I just want to get up my rocks immediately. Um, if he wants to knock me off, that's fine. I'm not too, too stressed. Uh, it could be Nasty Plot, which could be a little bit of a threat. Um, I do have Carbig, though. And I think I... If he is like nasty plot or anything like that, I think I just kill him with a, whatever I bring in next. So I'm gonna just set up my rocks. Kinda see what he goes for. Good track is the play of choice. I just pop. Does that tell me anything? I feel like half is quite a lot to a Torkoal. Uh, Torkoal. Boom. Versus Skuntank. That is Bandit. It is most definitely banded by the looks of things. Okay, does that mean my weight just kills us then in the sun? It absolutely does. So in that case, I think I want to go out and do my mess for it. Um, I am going to take a huge chunk. However, I get to get in my wake and I just click buttons. Okay, so it's going to withdraw himself out into Kaz, which is... The Great Toss, I just look like a god now, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, and we do see that it is speed boosting, so it, it's probably like max HP, max speed, something like that. But yeah, I just look like a, an absolute god now. Okay, cool. Um, I think I want to put U-Turn, as much as I want to put Psychic Noise. Um, do I want to Terra this? Or well, not really? Not really, I don't think. I just want to U-Turn. Goes for the spin immediately. Fair enough. Fair enough. Definitely could have just gone for a psychic noise and uh, and did the damn thing there, but that's fine. Um, this one should never be able to kill me, so I am just gonna have to wake. My other player was probably Lilligan, but that puts me to now, so. And plus, I still have my healing with support mod in the back, so I'm definitely free to just click Hydro Steam here. Webs actually might be a little bit annoying. Um, now that he's got rid of my rocks, Cricketune can come in and get webs up, which, to be fair, I don't know. We'll see. Headlong Rush does about half to me. It's not a huge deal. He doesn't have. He didn't bring his Arc Knight, so he didn't have any priority actually. We are just going to be able to put Hydro Team and knock out Great Toss. That's one kill for Wake. Um, and can Cricket Team kill me with anything? I don't really know what Cricket Team like gets or like does. I don't think it can unless it's like offensive. And like gouging looks just as good as Wake, right? So. I'm assuming maybe like Hydrapple comes in. Stanky comes in, which is the Skun Tank. We've already seen that this thing is banded. Um, 
trying to think what my best course of action is here. Um, he probably goes for soccer. He probably goes for soccer. Um, I could go carving, get a spike up, and then explode. Actually, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because if he clicks me, so I can just terror the next turn. He's gonna sucker, yep. Yeah. Kind of expected there. Um, I am going to. What's his switch into this though? Maybe I just want to double out into. No, I want to get my spike up, I think. I want to get my spike up. A sweet syrup, the hydrapple comes in. Hmm. How many turns of sun have I got left? Only two. Okay, yeah. So I want to keep this one around, I think. Um, I am going to go on to Mesprit. Goes for the Earth Power, nice, we caught him on that. Which is big. And I am going to go for a U-turn now. Okay, cool. I want to go carving. I want to go carving. Even if he clicks good drain, I should never die. Um, and I hopefully I should be able to Terra. This is infestation. Okay, that's fine. Um, I get to Terra Sunny Day and Misty Explode. I think is going to be my play here. So knowing, seeing that, probably AD, right? So um, I'm going to Terra and Sunny Day. Gouging kill my grapple. Okay, that was a crit too. That was a crit. Uh, I definitely I'm just gonna miss the explode her. There's no reason for me not to, to be honest. So I'm gonna get it up. Boom. But Carbing did its job, right? It got the spike up that I needed. Um, yeah, got the spike up I needed and did the damn thing for me. Um, so he's got this. Quick attune. So I just click buttons with this now. What's his Terra Captain? Articuno. Okay, yeah. So that could be a little bit of an issue. Um. I used to think I want to go Lilium first. I think triple outs are just claims on here. I actually can't quite remember what you brought, so... Um, yeah, Triple Axel should claim one. If he sacks this, I get to put Hydro Steam with my, um... With my Wake. So... I'm just praying that Lilligan can land. That'll be, that'll be brilliant. One. Two. We actually need a third. And we do get it! Okay, nice. Big Lilligan. Thank you. Um, and honestly, depending on what kind of, um, if Terrapagos isn't boots, we're actually looking really solid here.
My cat for some reason saying my Lilligant CC is going to do 23%. I'd be not very happy if it does 23%. This Sanky is going to come in, to be honest, I forgot you had this. Um, okay. Um, do I want to just get the damage on this that I need? Possibly. I've still got gouging in the back. Mm, I did forget you had this. That might be an issue, you know. Um, I, have, I have healing with this. Hmm. I'm just gonna CC. Doesn't quite well, but it actually came very close. So if he misses his gunshot, um, which he just connect that. Very fair. Okay, what's my play now? Is it gouging? Uh, he has Terrapagos. Uh, did he keep High Jackal? I actually can't remember if he got High Jackal or not. I'm quick to Yeah, I think gouging's my play then. We're obviously going to get the speed boost, which is nice. And um, we get to go for Flare Blitz. It's going to swap out, interestingly enough. So, woo! Which is the Brick 2. Get set. Cool. Now, can Terrapagos kill me with anything? I don't think it actually can from this range that I'm at. Because that's the next big thing I've got to deal with. So, Spanky comes in. I think this dies to Spike. Yep, yeah. okay, cool. We'll just waste another sun turn, which, you know, makes sense. That's actually a kill for young Binky, I think. The Starlight comes in. Okay, this is the threat. This is the threat I gotta deal with. Okay, take Spike, though. Takes a Spike. Okay, in the sun. And 19... What is that? 88, right? Uh, we do a lot to this thing. And I don't think he can win by clicking a cell move. So I think I am just going to go for Flare Blitz. Oh, we got a crit. That's huge. Okay, yeah. Sorry about that, Ted. That's massive. Um, I don't know what Ted could have clicked, though. To... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It depends. So here comes a pretty shiny Articuno. This one's beautiful. Uh, we are going to click Flare Blitz. I don't think I need to put Morning Sun or anything like that. Um, yeah. So he's gonna terror. What terror are you, Mr. Ted? You are going to be terror fighting. Okay. So my Tingle. That makes sense. Now I'm gonna flare this you up. Oh my god, that would be crazy, 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 man. And we got Burn, Jesus. Look, he's on our side. Look at our side this evening. Those three agility. Um, but I think with that, I think I go Mesprit. I go Mesprit. Because um, there's not a move Ted can click to win. Because if he clicks Roost, I click um, Encore the next turn, and there's not really a move clip, but I'm assuming his agility can't mine. Um, as it's going to go for Terra Blast, and we are going to tag it out with my Sprit. Articuno is going to die to the burn, and I believe that is the game. Um, 
yeah, I felt good about this one. Um, I think Sun looked really good into Ted's team in particular. Um, yeah, I'll do goes down. I think this is a tough matchup for Ted for sure. Uh, definitely a really tough matchup. My offense was really good. But I will say, Banded Skun Tank was a very nice bring. I really enjoyed that actually. Um, yeah, I re really, really enjoyed that. Um, it really put a lot of pressure on me actually. Every time it came in, I was like, oh, well, what do I do now? Um, but yeah, Jesus again to Ted. Obviously, the crit on the Terrapagos. Um, mattered in terms of it wouldn't have died but i don't know what ted clicked that turn and um, i do have my mess written about with healing wish um, and i do have encore on it too so i'm not sure what he could potentially click that turn um to change the tides because if he just killed me i went out to wake and click hydro steam twice because i'm sure it kills our know from full but um yeah geez again to ted uh yeah, a wild, wild game. I'm looking forward to see how Ted does for the rest of the season. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave some, and I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.